Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, a church you can call home where we honor God, love family, serves others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. He wants to bless you, encourage you. He wants to change you, and he wants to correct us. Amen. It's been a while since I said that, but you need to hear that. Amen. So don't leave as you came. Leave change. Yes, amen. Every day when you meet with him, don't leave the same. I'm, I, I'm going to be changed. Amen. Because I want him to bless me. And I ain't going to let him go until he blesses me. He's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. So all we need to do is make ourselves available to him. And know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He called you. He put you here. He equipped you. So whatever mission he's called you to do, you can do. Because he says you can do all things through him. Amen. And he's going to strengthen you to do this. Amen. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. you got to confess these things to yourself. If you don't, nobody will. And nobody's going to stir you up. You need to stir yourself up. Amen. Look in the mirror and say, man, we're going to press on with him today. Amen. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. you got to remind yourself these things. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. We're going to be talking about uh, follow him and serve him. Amen. Come close to him. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis. So I just wanted to say uh, to prepare yourselves. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Again, happy anniversary, NBC. Keep on pressing on with God. Amen. Or pressing on with Jesus. NBC is celebrating our 10th year anniversary. This is the month. Jose and Patricia, we want to say thank you to all. Amen. Thank you for your love, your prayers, your encouragement, and your support. We're excited as we start our 10th year. Amen. So praise God. Believing God has great plans for us and blessings for us. Amen. Praise God for NBC. And we want to step out in faith. We don't want uh, fear. We don't want to give it up. We, 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 we don't want to give up. We want to draw closer to him. Amen. And we know that he is with us at all times. Patricia said that this morning. He says, rise and shine. And give God the glory. Yes. On a daily basis. Amen. So rise and shine, shine child God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Amen. Let me take these off. And we're going to make this declaration together. Before we get started here. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Grab your sword. Soldier of God. And say it like you mean it. Amen. Make this declaration with me. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus name. Amen. So praise God. Before we get started. I just want to. Let you know, those that are listening, those that are watching, I'm going to take my jacket off because I want to show you my NBC <laughs> shirt. Amen. So praise God. New Beginnings Church. <laughs> praise God. This is our anniversary month. So I want you to see my New Beginnings shirt. Amen. Praise God. There it is. <laughs> Amen. So follow him and serve him with passion Amen. daily as we start off our next year. Our 10th year. Yeah. Or maybe the next 10 years. Praise God. But we've got to give it all to Him. Mm -hmm. Surrender to Him totally. Amen. Mark 12 and 30. Let's go there right quick. Amen. Mm -hmm. We will use the Word of God. We use the Bible. And that's where we come. That's where we get all our uh, Scripture from. So we teach the Word of God from His Word. Amen. And Mark. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Matthew. Did you say Mark 12? Nope. Yeah, Mark 12, yes. Mark 12 and the verse 30. Uh, are you there? Yes. And it says, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with yes. all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. Amen. Amen. So basically, I just want to encourage you for the next year, for the next how many years God has New Beginnings Church, amen? I want to encourage you 
or for yourself. Amen. I just want to encourage you to serve him. Follow him and serve him. Amen. Holler, don't let yourself down. Don't give up. But press on with him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. This is what I wrote. New, new, uh, new King James. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment that he's given us. Amen. Uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2 says this. No lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord with, serving the Lord, excuse me. Right, and the New Living Translation says, never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Nobody's going to make it easy for you. Nobody's going to make it uh, fun for you. You make it this way. Yes. Amen. Be excited, you know, Amen. of what Jesus did already. He paid the price. Amen. So we can serve him enthusiastically Amen. and get rid of him. You know, he's called us. And what's going to happen is there's going to be distractions. So get rid of any passion killers, any distractions, things that stop us from fulfilling our daily walk, our life mission, or our life race, or whatever God has called you to do. There's going to be things that's going to come and want to stop you. Yes, amen. But you got to know and say, no, I'm not letting this stop me. I'm going to press on with him. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And I'm not looking back anymore. He told God, don't look back. Mm -hmm. And his, his wife looked back and it stopped him. It stopped her. Amen. Yes, it Don't let anything hold you back. Press on. Amen. There's going to be people coming your way that's going to want to take you out of your joy, want to take you out of your peace. <laughs> Don't give them that chance. Amen. Say, draw them into your peace. Yes. Amen. Say, wow, I want what you got. Praise God. So give it to these things. Stop from, they stop you from fulfilling. Uh, uh, our daily walk with him right. things that rob us of our joy of our peace there's things mm -hmm. amen but don't let those things have you that's and it. don't let them things stop you that's, well, that's your choice i choose not to stop i choose right. not to let them stop me amen, amen. we must learn to refire our passion for god mm -hmm. if <laughs> nobody's going to refire it for you yes it. you got to keep that fire going you know mm -hmm. don't let that flame go out. Uh -huh. Just a little spark. It's okay. But you know what? Build it up. Uh -huh. Get in the word. Fellowship with him. Fellowship. Come assemble yourselves together so that we can spark one another. Yes. Amen. Encourage one another. Yes. Instead of just being isolated and letting the enemy just have you. No. I'm not giving in to that. Amen. Praise God that we can assemble ourselves and encourage one another. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. The church is not here to be entertained. The church is here to be empowered. Yes. We're here to be empowered to go and do what God has called us to do. He says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we're being empowered to go and do what he's called us to do. And he calls you. If nobody ever told you, now you know. You've been called by God. He knows you. Amen. He knows all about you. He knows your shortcomings. He knows all about you. And loves you the most. And say come on. Let's go. This is what I want you to do. Amen. But we have to have relationship. Ooh, hallelujah. I don't know about you. But I'm on fire. <laughs> Christians don't retire. They refire. Yes. Some of us need a reminder. Amen. You know. Hey. You know. I retire from my job. Yeah. You retire from jobs. That's fine. But. You don't retire from serving God. Amen. You keep pressing on. Let me see how I wrote it here. Some of us need a reminder to renew and refire. You retire from jobs, but never from following and serving God. Always, you know, as long as you have breath, you know, keep serving him. Keep following him. Keep serving him. You have a mouth and you can speak. Amen. You can speak the word and people are going to hear. Hear it. You may not see the results, but you're sowing seed. And when you're sowing seed, seeds grow. Amen. So remember that. Woo, some of us yeah. <laughs> act that way. We must stop playing church. Remember, uh -huh. this is not the church. This is a building where we assemble ourselves together. Let's get yeah. it straight. We, we, me and you, believers, we are the church. We are the body of Christ. Amen. And we need to stop uh, using excuses. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, if I step on toes, that's fine, because I'm stepping on mine too. <laughs> we work all week, we take the weekend off. Mm. Say, well, hey, Pastor, I couldn't, you know, I worked hard all week and I couldn't be there Sunday. <laughs> well, if you know me, <laughs> I work hard all week, Monday through Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday. <laughs> Amen. And I'm still here no. to serve my God. Amen. And bring Amen. a word to you. Amen. <laughs> Stop using him as a spare tire. We know this and we've heard this before. We only reach him and, and, and remember him on emergency cases only. Mm. He don't want stepchildren. He don't want you to be part-time children. He wants you to be full-time. Amen. <laughs> We're part-time believers demanding a full-time God. He's there for you all the time. He wants us to be there full time for him as well. Amen. Not just part time, all the time. Amen. Make a commitment. Amen. As we start this next year, you know, to be committed as you as you step out for him on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. Mark uh, 12, 29 through 31, easier to read version says, Jesus answered, the most important command is this. People of Israel, listen. The Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind, and with all your strength. Yeah. And 31 says, the second most important command is this. Love your neighbor mm -hmm. the same as you love yourself. These two commands are the most important. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Come on. And you know a command is an order given with authority. And uh, a command is not a suggestion. Yeah. He gave us ten commandments. Right. He didn't yeah. give us ten suggestions. Right. Now, if you feel like it, if you want to, no, you have a choice. You mm -hmm. obey or disobey, but you're going to suffer the consequences. Yeah. Right. Amen. Right. You obey, you're blessed. If you disobey, <laughs> you suffer the consequences. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's nobody's fault. That's it. It's just up to you. But it's your choice. Mm -hmm. Church is a place where we can come mm -hmm. and uh, it's a healing place. We all meet. And we don't leave here as we came. We give it all to him Sunday after Sunday, day after day, and still carrying. Some of us are still carrying the cares, the worries, the hurts, the uh, hates, and, 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 and the jealousies. Mm. You know, you've heard this. We have a little sign over there on the side there that says, leave it at the cross. Mm. Amen. Like I told you many times, when you go to the dumpster, you dump your trash. <laughs> And you never, I never see anybody bringing the trash back to the no, house. No. You leave it in the dumpster. When you take your cares, your worries, your problems, whatever you give to the Lord, mm -hmm. leave it at the cross. Amen. You don't bring it back. Right. It's yeah. His. It says, give it to me. Cast it on me. We need to remember this. But you know, the enemy is busy. He attacks the mind. Mm -hmm. It's the battlefield. And he brings those thoughts back to you. Yes. And say, wait a minute, I brought it to the Lord. I gave it to the Lord. It's not mine. Yes. I'm not receiving that anymore. You have yes. to make that stand and say, mm -hmm. it's not mine anymore. Right. You need to talk mm -hmm. to the one. He ain't going to talk. He ain't going to go near God, okay? <laughs> so, but what you basically what you need to do is just stop listening to his lies. Yes. Yes. Because he's going to try to put those lies, those thoughts back on you. And I don't want them. I don't receive them. You don't receive them. Amen. If you're still doing this, that's insane. Doing the same thing and carrying the same hurts over and over and over. Day after day, year after year, expecting different results. Mm -hmm. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Yes, it's yes. gone. Yes. We, we, we've gone through that. It, it, it's a done deal. We're not going back. Amen. Right. Obey his commands. Confess. Uh, release it. And be healed. Don't accept the devil's lies and hold you back mm -hmm. no more. Change and press on. Amen. Distractions right. will hold you back. Yeah. Sin will hold you back. Mm -hmm. Sin will, how, how does that go? Sin will, will uh, keep you longer than, keep you you longer than you, no, it goes, uh, sin. Yeah. Come on, help me, church. Sin will <laughs> keep you longer than you want to stay. Yeah. Yeah. Cost, cost, cost you more than you want to pay. Longer. No, we're missing something. Yeah, we're, we're missing something. I'll get it for you. <laughs> Sin will keep you longer than you want to stay. Yeah, yeah. but it'll cost you more, more than you than want to pay. pay. Amen. So praise God. Yes. So 
Let's not do that. Let it go. Confess it. You'll forgive and forget it. And you need to do the same thing. Forgive yeah. and forget. Yeah. And anytime the devil brings it back to you through thoughts, thoughts mm -hmm. or through people, yeah. just let it go. Say, so hey, I've confessed it. Right. It's God's in now. It's not me. Okay? But that's what the enemy uses all the time. Jesus continued to say to all of them, any of you who want to be my followers must stop thinking about yourselves mm -hmm. and what you want. You must be willing to carry the cross mm -hmm. that is given to you every day yeah. for following me. Any of you who try to save your life, and it, you will lose it. But yeah. you who give up your life for me will save. Yes. It is worth nothing for you to have the whole world if you yourselves are destroyed or lost. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed of me and my teachings. If that happens, I will be ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. When I come with my divine greatness, that and that uh, of the Father and the Holy Angels. Amen. So, mm -hmm. praise God. Just give it all to Him. Yes, amen. Just let it go. Don't hold back. There's no holding back. Deuteronomy uh, 4, 23 and 24. You must be careful not to forgive. Forget the agreement that the Lord your God made with you. You must obey the Lord's command. Mm -hmm. Don't make an idol in any form. Don't make any idols in any form because the Lord your God is jealous. He hates his people to worship other gods. Mm -hmm. And he can be like a consuming fire and destroy. Mm -hmm. Jesus is saying our first priority is him. Yes. Amen. Our passion is him. Yes. Our uh, Him first. Mm -hmm. Follow him and serve him. This is what he wants us to do. Amen. Yes. So any other thing. No. We will not accept half part. He will not accept half hearted service. He's a jealous God. Means he wants all of us. <coughs> He wants us completely committed to Him. Totally surrendered. Amen. Totally surrendered to Him. So we're pressing on. He wants us unwavering loyalty. Mm -hmm. He wants us to He wants to be first in our lives. Yes. And this is great. He wants to be first. Mm -hmm. Seek Him first. Spend time with Him first before you do anything else. Yeah. Amen. He desires to be at the top of our priority list. Mm -hmm. We all have priority lists. But let God, let Jesus be first on your priority yes, amen he wants us to hunger for more of him yes you know when you hunger for more of him we have relationship mm -hmm. i want to spend more time with him amen that's what we need we have to have relationship because it is a two-way thing amen Ooh. communication he wants his <laughs> he wants his purpose for our lives to be most important pursue uh pursue of lives amen so mm -hmm. He calls us into a passionate living. Amen. So I want to live passionately yeah. to serve Him mm -hmm. and spending time with Him. Hunger and thirst for more of Him. Yeah. Again, Romans 12, 1, uh, Romans 12, 11 and 12 says in the New Life Version, Don't be lazy about always, it says, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a, full, a heart full of love for Him. Yeah. Be happy in your hope. Do not give up when troubles come. Don't let anything stop you from praying. Don't let anything stop you from serving Him. Don't let anything yeah. stop you from following Him. Amen. And this is your choice. Amen. And the NIV says it like this: says it, never be lack, never be lacking lazy or zeal in passion, mm -hmm. but keep your spiritual fervent, keeping your spiritual passion, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and uh, faithful in prayer. Amen. What was that scripture? Uh, Romans 12, 1, uh, 11 and 12. The dictionary passion says fervent, mm -hmm. commitment, dedicated, and mm -hmm. zeal for the next year, mm -hmm. for the next 10 years. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. This is how we're going to serve him. The, the Bible uh, talks about passion. It says fervent, meaning yeah. to be hot, yeah. to be boiling, to be glowing. Don't let your fire out, saints. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Stay hot for God. Amen. Fervent also means to be earnest, to be serious, to be excited and thrilled. You can be, you can't be an on fire Christian and be sad all the time. Right. Amen. Amen. You got to, you got to be on fire and excited mm -hmm. for serving Him. You know that'll 
people will see this. You know, you you, you watch your words, you watch your actions, you know, and stay on fire for God. Yeah. Stay in, enthusiastic for God. Yes. And people will see this. Yes. And people want to know why you're always happy. Why mm -hmm. you're always up and up, you know. And then when they come to you, then you tell them it's because of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. The greater one in me. And you can yeah. have this Jesus I've got. Amen. Yeah. When they open up, it's okay for you to come in and deliver. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> be excited. Be thrilled. Be energetic. Be active. Amen. Not lukewarm. Now, in Revelations 3 and 16, it says in the NIV, So because you're lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. Oh, boy. Don't be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. You know who keeps you there? Mm. You. Don't let yourself get lukewarm, you know, That's because it. of what somebody said, what the enemy mm -hmm. said, you know, but be on fire. Mm -hmm. He said, I'd rather have you hot or cold. Yes. But don't, not, just, not lukewarm. Not, not lukewarm. Don't just mm -hmm. straddle the fence, you know, and, you know, uh, join the world, join the crowd. No, be on, on fire or be cold, Amen. but none of this uh, lukewarmness, you know, God yes. hates lukewarm. He says, I'll vomit you. <clears throat> Amen. I'll vomit you out of my mouth. He said, this one says, spit you out. Mm. I don't want that to happen. Mm. Amen. <laughs> that's it. And this is us, passionate people. That's me. Amen. That's you. Passionate people are mm. consumed with fulfilling what God has mm. called us to do. I want to fulfill. I'm excited. I want to fulfill. You know, when you start your yeah. first job, when this first happens, you know, yeah. I want to fulfill, man, what God has called me to do. Yeah. Amen. God has called me to do. So I want to do it under Him. Praise Amen. God. And we don't want to lose that desire. We don't want to lose that fire. We don't want to lose that enthusiasm. We don't want to lose the joy. Yes. Amen. Ah, praise God. I remember. And I want to get motivated and, and do it. Passion is the motivation force that causes them to see their dreams come true. Mm -hmm. That vision that God has given you. Man, thank you, Lord. And I'm excited about it. Passion empowers them to overcome fear, doubts, and discouragement. Passion. I'm so passionate. Forget about the fears. Forget about the doubts. Forget about discouragements. And they're going to come. But don't give in to them. Amen. Press on with you. Press on. <laughs> Passion keeps them moving forward in spite of how many setbacks. Yeah, you know, there's going to be some setbacks. But get what? Get fired up again. Amen. Get pressing. Get to yes. stepping with him. Yes. Go forward, not backwards. Right. Amen. Passion for God. You know what kept Jesus going? The passion. Mm -hmm. The passion kept him going. You know, he had many opportunities to quit, but he never quit. And he's our greatest example. Yes, he is. Never quit, never quit, never give up. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You go to him when you need. Amen. When you lack, you go to him. <laughs> I need you. Mm -hmm. He's there for you. Yeah, he, yeah. he never leaves you nor forsakes yes. you. He's yeah. always with you. Amen. Yeah. You may feel lonely, yeah. but he's there with you. Remember the footprints? Yeah. He says, yeah. I carry to you. Those mm -hmm. one step, your one what one 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 set was me carrying you. Amen. He's not gonna give up on you. You either will walk through the valley of shadow of death. God is with me. Wherever I go, he is with me. Whew. You don't give up on you. You don't give up on him. That's what happens when we fall out to, to the side. When the world pulls us away. Distraction pulls us away. He don't give up on you. We give up on him. Yeah. The problem is not with him. The problem is with us. We got to get right again. And you know what? If you, if you confess the sin, he forgives and forgets. And we need to do the same thing. Yeah. And press on like nothing happened. Press on, press on, press on. Moving forward in spite of how many setbacks. Passion picked them up no matter how many times they keep knock, mm -hmm. knocked down. That's it. No matter how many times you've been knocked down. People give up on you. Mm -hmm. Friends give up on you. But God never gives up on That's you. It. He says, get up, child. Uh -huh. Dust off. Press on. I'm still with you. I still want yeah. you to complete. You know what he told Peter? When Peter denied him three times. Mm -hmm. Still, last week we found out God, Jesus still used Peter to deliver the message that brought 3,000 the first time to, 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 to the kingdom. 
And then the second time it says he, it was 5,000 men. But it says not including women and children. It says it could have been 10 to 15,000. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But still, the main thing is this. Remember, Jesus could have said, you denied me in front of people. I'm going to deny you. I'm not going to use you anymore. I'm done with you. No. He used them still. So let's remember this. Because some of us give up on ourselves. If he don't give up on us, we don't mm -hmm. give up on ourselves. Amen. Mm -hmm. God made you and you're special to him. Amen. Many of God's people never see their missions because reality, they lack the passion and the zeal and the enthusiasm. Amen. Jesus had problems. He went to the Father. He said, Lord, I need your strength. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can make this day. Yeah. If he went to the Father for strength, so can we. Yes. Lord, I need your strength this day. Mm -hmm. This is happening. This is happening. Yes. Amen. Just give it to him. And receive, receive, receive his strength. Amen. Yes. Amen. Pastor turned the disciples, uh, caused the disciples in the early church to turn their world upside down. Mm -hmm. Fulfill their mission. They fulfill their mission, so can we. Lord, I'm going to fulfill what you call me to do, no matter what. Remember, we don't compare to nobody. We complete one another. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to complete my mission. And I don't want to compete with anybody. I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. I want to complete what God has me to do. This physical body has many parts. And they all do different functions. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just going to copy somebody. I'm going to do and be the original God called me to be. And do what he called me to be. Yes. Yeah. Amen. If it's just a little toe, then I'm gonna do the bed, be the best little toe I can be. <laughs> Amen. You may not see me, I'm always covered. <laughs> but still I'm doing it under you, Lord. And I give you the credit. I give you all the praise, all the glory. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be the best He's called you to be. Don't be shy and don't try to please people. Because people are never going to be pleased. Mm -mm. Is that all you do? Yeah. You can do more than that. Well, listen, look at me. I am a big somebody. <laughs> but has no God. Mm -hmm. Don't know Jesus. Okay. They lose. Amen. You have Jesus. And whatever he's called you to do, big or small, do it under yeah. him. Amen. And do your best. Yeah. Amen. Jesus knew he was going to be sacrificed, but he did his best. Mm -hmm. And at the end, he told his father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. Yes. We can do our best. I want to fulfill and fulfill what he's called me to do. And at the end, he'll say, welcome home, good and faithful servant. Yes. Instead of, you know, depart from me. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I don't want him to say that. No. Passion caused the disciples to turn their world upside down. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo. Acts 17, 16 in the New Living Translation says, not finding them there, they dragged them out. Jason and so many other uh, believers instead and took them before the city council. It says, Paul and Silas have caused trouble all over the world, they shouted. They shouted. And now they are here disturbing our cities. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> this is what the people are saying. This is the New Living Translation. <laughs> it says, this is Paul and Silas. Now they shouted about this. And now they're here disturbing our cities. So, guess what we got to do, church? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to disturb our little cities of yes. Martha, Amen. Alpine, Fort Davis, Presidio, mm -hmm. Big Ben, wherever you happen to be. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be a child of God. I'm going to be sowing seed. Mm -hmm. Amen. And seeing people come to Christ. Right. Amen. That's what we've all been called to share the word of God. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Passion caused Peter and John to defy the religious leaders in their in their days. Oh yeah. <laughs> they were told to never preach Jesus again. Again. And uh -huh. that happens today. It's happened to me. <laughs> uh -uh -uh. Among friends, amongst families. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, if you're gonna come visit me, don't talk about Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So <laughs> their passion caused them to ignore their threats. Second Timothy one and seven says this: For God has not given us a spirit of fear, 
but a power wow. of love and of a sound mm -hmm. mind. Amen. He's not giving you a spirit of fear. So you know what? That fear's got to go. Yes, you know how you drive fear out of you? Mm -hmm. You get the word. You get the word in you, and your faith is going to rise. Mm -hmm. And when your faith grows, fear's got to go. That's it. Amen. They're totally opposite. Fear is opposite. Of the faith. more you feed your faith, fear's got to go. Right. Amen. I stop telling about everything we have seen and heard. Yes. The council then threatened them mm -hmm. further. But they finally let them go because yeah, they didn't know. know how to punish them without starting a riot. Right. Right. For everyone was praising God for this miraculous sign. A man, uh, they healed a man who had been lame for 40 years. Mm. And he was healed. And they're all praising God and giving God the glory. And the leaders wanted to punish them. But if we punish them, we'll start a riot. Yeah. And they're going to lose. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> so, <laughs> praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> passion would not allow them to be silent. Mm -mm. Their passion, that desire yeah. that we're going to press on with Amen. New Beginnings Church here for the next so many years. Passion that you have in serving Him the next day, the next month, the next year. Yes. It won't allow you to be silent. The passionate believers stay hungry and thirsty for more of him. I want more of you, Lord. Mm -hmm. And he's not going to hold back. So don't you hold back. When you're hungry and thirsty, <clears throat> you overflow. Mm -hmm. When you drink the overflow, mm -hmm. it runs over. Yeah. When you overflow, his word comes out. <clears throat> mm -hmm. When his word comes out, you cannot stay silent. That's it. You got to let the word out. You know, if you start thinking for yourself, say, well, I don't know if I can learn all this. Hmm. Well, you're limiting yourself. That's it. Just get it in you and get it in you. You know, <laughs> when you drink water and you're thirsty, you keep drinking, 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 mm -hmm. till you overflow. Say, mm -hmm. I had enough. Yep. You overflow with the word. Yeah. Just get it in you, get it in you, Amen. get it in you. And when the time is right mm -hmm. and you need it, it's going to come out of you. Yes. And you're going to speak it out. Say, yeah. wow, I can't believe I said this. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that came out. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I learned all this. Well, don't limit yourself. Just press on with Him. And get, the main thing is, get in the Word and read it. Yes. And get it in you. And you know, you by yourself, read it out loud where you can hear it. <clears throat> don't, hold, don't hold it back. John 7 and 38 says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That living water is the word of God. It's coming out of you. Amen. It's going to come out of you. His word is alive. His word is not dead. Yes. Amen. God says, my word goes out and accomplishes what I send it out mm -hmm. to do. So words are powerful. Yes. More powerful things that you can speak. Yes. There's death and life right in the power yes. of the tongue. Uh -huh. Death and life right in the power of the words mm -hmm. you speak. But you have to speak it out. Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't hold it in. Mission wouldn't allow David to cower down. I'll read you this story and then we can <clears throat> we can be closing. Listen to this. I'm going to read it to you in the New Living Translation where you can understand it. Jesse had eight sons. Yeah. Listen, I'll tell you this first. Jesse had eight sons. The man of God, God sent the man to go and and uh, select the next king of Israel from Jesse's family. Mm. And he had eight sons. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> and seven of them went through. And the man of God says, no, 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 none, none. He says, do you have another one? Oh, yeah, he says, I have one more son, but he's only a little shepherd boy. He's watching the sheep, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what people say about us, you know. Oh, he's just a little girl. He's just a little boy. He's just a young girl, a young man. Mm -hmm. But the God is totally different. Mm -hmm. When he brought David, he went and got David. David passed in front of the man of God, mm -hmm. and the man of God says, that's him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's you. That's how important you are to God. Yes. David, the shepherd boy, went from shepherd boy to king of Israel. What about you? 
see yourself the way God sees you. He sees you that important. So don't limit yourself. Don't put yourself down. Rise up with him. Amen. Anyway, Jesus, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> Jesse sent David to Saul's camp. Saul had a camp. They were camp out on one side of the mountain. And the Philistine army was on the other side. Mm -hmm. And so Jesse sends David to uh, Saul's camp. One day Jesse uh, sent David to take food to his three older brothers who are fighting God's enemies, the Philistines. When David arrives, he runs to the battle lines and he hears a giant, Goliath, taunting, defying the armies, uh, the armies of the living God. Yep. Defying. He was challenging them. And <laughs> who is this pagan? Philistine anyway that he is allowed to do this all are afraid to accept Goliath's challenge to fight him King Saul hears that David is willing to go so he calls him when Saul sees David he says you are but a boy that's what people say about you you are but whatever you are no good you're not enough. You're not what we're looking for. You're not qualified. That's what the world says about you. That's what Saul, King Saul said about David. You're but a boy. You're too young. You're too old. You're not good enough. Not qualified. Not equipped. Not good enough. Remember who called you and who's backing you. David knew this. He's, David explained to Saul. He says, he has killed the lion and he has killed the bear that tried to carry it off his family's sheep. God has seen me through all my problems and setbacks. Mm -hmm. And he's still got his hand on me. Mm -hmm. Goliath, the type of Egypt and the world trying to destroy you, mm -hmm. must come like one of them, David says. Saul replies, okay, well, you got my blessing, go. Yeah. And, may God, and may God be with you. Mm -hmm. Amen, he, he is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know whose you are and who you are in him. Amen. So David picked up five smooth stones, put them in his shepherd bag, takes his sling, and goes out to fight the giant. When the giant sees the mere boy coming, he shouted, Just come to me and I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. David shouted in reply, You come to me with the sword and the spear and the javelin. I come to you in the name of the Lord Almighty. Yes. The God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled, today the Lord will conquer you and I will cut your head off. And David ran towards Goliath, took a stone and, uh, from his bag and put it in his sling, hurled it straight into uh, Goliath's forehead. And since David had no sword, he ran, pulled the, uh, Goliath's sword from his sheath. Mm -hmm. uh, David used it to kill the giant and cut his head off. Yeah, when yeah. the Philistines seen their giant, mm -hmm. his cha their champion, the giant, yeah, did, no. they terrified and they yeah. ran away. Yes, they did. Israelis chased them and won the battle. Amen. Mm -hmm. So God has called you. There's giants facing you on a daily basis. Amen. But you know whose you are yeah. and who you are in him. Mm -hmm. You know who's backing you. Mm -hmm. So I don't care how many giants are waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Greater is he that's in me yeah. than he that's in the world. Yes, yes. No. How great your God is. Amen. And I can go and I can conquer mm -hmm. because greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. Amen. Woo, he's called you to be a winner. He's called you to be a champion. He's not concerned about giants, are you? You shouldn't be. You know, you got giant, whatever uh, uh, giants you have with self, problems, uh, whatever it may be, habits, it don't matter, finances, marital, whatever. God is greater than all these things. Amen. Amen. Again, Jeremiah 1, 6 through 8 says, A youth, you may at times become afraid uh, to follow God's command. Jeremiah was a young person, and he was afraid at first. But God told him, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Jeremiah took his courage and preached mm -hmm. as God instructed him. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. God is with you. Yes. Amen. He says he never leaves us nor forsakes us. Amen. Yeah. So praise God like David and, and Jeremiah. If you trust God, you too can learn yeah. not to be afraid. Yes. Remember, he's yes. not giving us a spirit of fear. Mm -hmm. Passion uh, caused them to become bolder. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, 
listen to this nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care man God is good passion excuse me then uh, Acts uh, 5.29 then Peter and the other uh, apostles answered and said we are to be uh, obey God rather than men yeah. they wanted him to stop they said no we're going to keep on pressing with God passion wouldn't allow them to seek a comfort zone a procrastination zone a comforting zone or an easy way out zone passion got them through the hard times passion kept them going when others fail when others quit and when others give up yeah, yeah. don't quit don't give up just press on yeah. with him you remember Paul and Silas in the prison they wouldn't give up you know they were hurt they were hurting <laughs> they were they could have been in there crying, complaining to God and said, why, you know, we were doing for you and look what happened to us. It didn't work. But no, at the midnight hour, they started praising and worshiping God and God showed up. And, uh, Acts 16, uh, six, uh, excuse me, uh, chapter 16, verses 16 through 34. Verse 25, around the midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening. And yeah. so was God. Yeah. Verse 26 says, Suddenly there was a great earthquake and the prison was shaken and it's found it to its foundations. Mm -hmm. And all the doors flew open and the chains every of every prisoner fell off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know those, those, those chains that have been holding you yes. back are going to fall as yes. you praise and worship Him and give Amen. it all to God. Amen. Amen. Those chains will come off. Amen. Yes. They're no longer going to hold you back. That's it. You're not going to no longer be held back. You're going to press on with yes, Him. Amen. Yeah. Just remember this. But have love. Have love and compassion. Have uh, uh, the passion to serve Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. To follow Him and do what He's called you to do. Mm -hmm. I say, hey, like David, I know whose I am and who I am in Christ. Yeah. And I know who's back in me. And He's yeah. with you all the time. He never leaves yeah. you nor forsake you. So in closing. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Praise <laughs> the Lord. God is calling you today to become passionate follower of Him, of His daily. Oh, Amen. As we celebrate our 10th year anniversary, He wants us to press on, child yes. of God. Press on and press yes. on with Him. Amen. So praise God. Say this with me. Lord, thank you for these 10 years. Lord, thank you for these 10 years. Lord, I give you my all. Lord, I give you my I give you my everything. I decide to follow you. I decide to follow you forever. Forever. Amen. Well, praise God. Do you receive, church? Yes. I receive too. So praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Lord. Help us to be hearers and doers of your word, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. So it's time to give. If you've never given, yes. now's the time you yes. to give. Praise God. For those watching, those listening, uh, just uh, go to our website, mbcbigman.com, uh, NBC and hit that donate button. Yes. Those that are mailing in NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, Praise so God. Uh, there's a new cash app and a website, Patricia? Yes. And, and our NBC Big Ben. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So use that. Praise God. Also, if you've never accepted Christ, this is the time. We gave you this opportunity. All you have to do is say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. I repent of my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. He's not going to deny you. He's going to receive you with open yes. arms. Amen. But you have to start from this day on, pressing on, amen, pressing on uh, with Him and serving Him with amen. love, with compassion, with yes. with with uh, enthusiasm, amen, yeah. with passion. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. If you have need healing in your body, the Bible says that by Jesus Christ you're healed, yeah. amen. So I don't accept malfunctions in my body. I don't re I, I I I don't receive. Uh, sickness in my body my body is a temple of the holy ghost mm -hmm. so sickness malfunctions go in jesus name yes. and every part of my body every organ in my body functioning normal the way god created it to function yes. in jesus precious name i receive my healing now 
Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.